Well, hey, y'all. I'm in the food trailer. Y'all have been asking for updates and what's going on with the food trailer. Well, today is the day. I'm going to give you a few little updates. Not a whole lot has been going on since the last update. I've had a lot of other things going on. So this has been kind of pushed to the back burner, but now I'm bringing it back to the front burner. I'm fixed to fire things up and get this thing going. Uh, today, a few little, like I say, some few little updates and a lot of cleaning. We're going to start cleaning this food trailer. And I think I'm going to start right here with this hood and the griddle and, and see how far we go with it. So, uh, without further ado, I appreciate all the love and the, and the interest in the food trailer. I'm new to this, but I'm loving all the support I'm already getting from it. So let's get to cleaning and show you what's going on. Now, probably one of the most important and biggest things I've done since you have seen this food trailer is now that I have it here permanently at the house uh, where I can park it at, I no longer need the generator to run. I actually have permanent power out here now. So that's a big plus. I can just pull it up here now, plug it in, and as you see, the lights are on. So that alone I mean, it took me a day or two just to get the power out here. I did it myself, but that alone is a big improvement. And I don't have to fire that generator, worry about how much gas I have in it or anything to be able to do the work I need to do here at the house on the food trailer. Another quick update on the food trailer. I already have my retail license now and I already have my serve safe license. So there's a plus. So now all we gotta do is get it clean, get some vinyl put on it, get DHEC certified, and we are gonna be cooking, baby. But I think the best place to start cleaning is gonna be right here at the hood above this nasty griddle that we're gonna to get to here in just a little bit. But we gotta get this hood. I mean, I'm gonna get you a little close up. How greasy, hope you can see how greasy all this is. There's like grease dripping off the light fixtures. It's just pretty nasty in general. That's okay, a little detergent, some elbow grease, we'll get it clean right up. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take out these grease filters right here, the hood filters. And then take a look how bad it is up inside of it. Well, honestly, it's not as bad as I thought. A little bit of spraying, a little bit of wiping down ought to do the trick. It's not near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But I think we need to take these outside and get them cleaned up. Or at least get them soaking right now anyhow. All right, we got them out here on my trailer now, my utility trailer. I'm gonna use this spray nine right here. As you see, I use a good bit, it's kind of greasy. It really cuts grease really well and also disinfectants too, but I think it's really what I need to cut this grease. Let's try it out. All right, let's see how well this is gonna do here. We're just gonna soak them down really, really good. And just kind of let them sit for a little bit and see how it works but you can really see the grease build up now they're outside on these grease filters. I may have to get some tubs and some degreaser and stuff and just let these things soak. I don't know, I'm gonna try this, see how it works and kind of go from there. All right, now they're sitting there soaking. As you see, that grease is starting to kind of pull up a little bit, trying to start to cut it. Might take several applications of some scrubbing, but I think we're gonna be able to get it clean. So now let's get back inside and clean the inside of that hood. Well, I don't think there's any good way of doing this, but just to get up here and get dirty. I think what I'm gonna do is wipe out that trough first with any kind of extra get a big grease, clumps, whatever I can out of there. Then spray it down, let it soak and scrub it, and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, let's just kind of wipe it. Yeah, it's getting a lot of that stuff up. See there? Oh, look at all that grease, y'all. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh wow. Yeah, isn't he cleaning bad? This is bad. Well, for the most part, it looks a lot better just wiping it down. But I do think I'm gonna need more paper towels because look at the nastiness I got out of here. Look at that just from wiping it. Yeah, this thing, I mean, look how nasty all these paper towels are, y'all. I can't get over that. This might take a little bit more than I expected, but that's okay. We're gonna get it clean. The hood may take a little bit longer than I want it to, though, but that's all right. Get some of this grease loosened up. All 
Oh yeah. It's coming clean pretty easy. I mean, I think that looks a lot better than it did. Look, there's no grease dripping anymore. Yeah. That right there was part of the toughest part to get up in there and kind of scrape out and clean. I had to use a putty knife. This down in here, I mean, look how much different that looks now where them grease filters sit. But overall, I think this hood is looking a lot better. But I made a mess down here, y'all. Look at all these nasty paper towels I used. I used a whole roll of paper towels, but I mean, look at the gunk that just come off this hood. Yeah, but it's a lot better. I did make a mess here too. Just so you know, here's the putty knife that I used in case anybody's wondering what size putty knife I used. I didn't take the stickers off of it. And I did have to use a scrub brush also. So whatever I could find to help me out clean this thing, I used it. I can see that that uh, spray nine kind of loosened up that grease a little bit. Think I'm gonna have to scrub them down. I'm sure I am. Might even use a pressure washer on these. I've seen people do that before. So let's see just a hose pipe, see what that does. Yeah, I figured I'd try to get whatever uh, big chunks of grease I can off of here. Let me adjust my hose pipe here. It's not spraying like I want it. That's a little better. Just taking some of that up, look at that. Hope y'all can see that. It's helping. Oh yeah, that's making a difference already. So this is not even scrubbing, this is just using that spray nine on there right now. It is breaking that grease up. Able to spray it off with just a hose pipe. But man, this thing is nasty. That hose pipe's doing good. We got something a little bit stronger. Well, they're looking a lot better on this side. I mean, that's a night and day difference. Just took a couple spots you see need to get right there. But overall, that pressure washer really done the trick. And that spray nine really cut that grease. Look at those sides. That's what they did look like compared to what it looked like now. Oh yeah, a lot different. Well, I think they cleaned up pretty good. They're dry now, so the only thing left to do is put them back in and see how it looks. Wow, what a difference. Yeah, that looks a lot different than when we first started. I mean, it's amazing how much better it looks just because it's cleaner now. We still got this to do though, y'all. We're not done yet with everything. We got a lot more to do, but it's a start. It is a start. There's also another little update. I do have something else I forgot to show you. I do have a point of sale system. Now I'm missing my iPad right here that goes there for the register, but overall I do have it. I bought it used off a good friend. He uh, had no more use for it and he sold it to me. So I do have a point of sale system now, a register, you know, receipt machine, uh, card tap reader. I can slide cards through here. I'm gonna have my iPad right here for the orders and everything. Complete system. So there's that. So all in all, it took about four hours to actually just clean this thing as good as it is. Is it professionally done? No. Is it good enough? I think it's gonna be. Uh, it's a lot better than it was. There's no doubt about that. Now, I think the next step, I'm gonna work on the griddle itself and the shelf above it. 
and all that, you know, the fryers and the burners and all that kind of stuff. All the stuff, right, the cooking uh, app appliances, apparatuses, whatever you want to call them. So that's going to be the next step. But and with anything, you know, it takes time. So hope you enjoyed this quick little update, little video, little cleaning. Let me know down below if you want to see more things like this because I'd be happy to record as I clean and get the thing ready. Still got the vinyl to put on the side. Still got to do all the kind of stuff to it. Let me know if you want to see all that. I'll be happy to take you along the journey with me. With that, I need to go ahead and get out of here. I got to go cook supper now, and we'll see you next time.